First and foremost, Kohala Yahu Bashim Yasha Bashim Kokodash, the one said the a great millstone, and shall warm to the Yaki out there on the highways and byways, noise in this road abroad, all around the world with the spirit of power, all the way to Yahu Bashim Yasha. So pretty much Esau right now, he's setting he's set the mood right now, you know. He's doing all these tests, you know, these phone tests, all of these other tests, whatever tests he's doing. Because really, you know, he's putting his pieces together. He's setting up the board, really. So he's putting all this, all of his pieces and all of his um, strategic pieces together, you know. Because eventually, you know, he's going to have to make that move. And what is that move that he wants to make? You know, he wants to set up the um, NWO, you know, concerning, you know, the, um, the RFID tech. The RFID technology, which is the MOTV, you know, he wants to set up that RFID technology, you know, that's his main goal, that's his main focus. So, you know, Esau, he's just strategically just um, setting the mood right now to do so. So, um, real quick, I'm going to get into this article, then I'm going to hit some scriptures, and that'll be, um, that'll be the video. Um, it says, alert test will hit every U.S. cell phone today. People with hidden phones for safety have a um, workaround. So it says, the federal government will broadcast an alert to all cell phones nationwide on Wednesday, testing the system for emergency emergencies notification. But there... But there may, um, there may be a workaround for um, victims of abuse with hidden phones whose lives might be at risk if they received a sudden alert. It says, on Wednesday around 2.20, 2.20 p.m. Eastern Time, all cell phones across the country will get a test um, emergency alert for about 30 minutes conducted by, conducted by the Federal Emergency Manage Management Agency and the Federal Communications Commission, the agency said in a statement. FEMA said the purpose of this test is to ensure the system, the systems continue to be effective, meaning of warning the public about emergencies, particular those on the national level, and no action is required from the public after the message are broadcast. However, there are concerns the universe um, the universal emergency alert could put some people in danger, like victims of domestic abuse who have hidden phones for their safety. And unlike with the Amber Alert and other notifications, this type of alert can <coughs> cannot be blocked because they're designed to be sent by a they're designed to be sent by the president of FEMA ambassadors according to the FCC. So this thing can't can be blocked, so you know, Esau the reason why he's doing this, like I said earlier, because he's starting, he, he's setting that mood. You know, he's setting the mood, you know. It's just, it's no different than, um, you know, when you're setting up a party and all of that, you know. You know, you got the lights, you want to make sure the lights are working. You know, you want to make sure the mic is working. You want to make sure things are um, working for that party. So what are you doing? You're setting the mood, you know. And the thing is, we know what Esau's doing with this the whole thing, you know. So we're not we're not asleep like others do, you know. You know we're not sleeping because we know we, we we know all about this whole, you know, cell phone alert things and what Esau is doing, you know, because Esau he's getting ready to make that move. That's what he's about to do. So real quick, I'm gonna get into the scriptures.
So this is 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. And it reads, We Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, you know. So, so at least Satan should get an advantage of us, you know, which he does, because um, we're, we're at the bottom, he's at the top, you know. It reads, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So we're not ignorant of his devices, you know, and this whole, you know, cell phone test thing, you know, that he's doing, we're not ignorant of that, you know. We're paying attention, you know. We're not going to ignore that and, and just say, oh, it's something, no. No, he's he he he's about to you know set the stay. He's setting the mood right now, you know. And people they just going about their business, trying to wave it off like they don't care, you know, because you know they just see it as you know bullshit, really, you know. But Esau, he's he's getting ready to do something. This is why he's putting these things in place because this thing is gonna come suddenly when you least expect it, you know. Just like 9-11, you know, when 9-11 hit, you know, you know, it was in the people's faces, you know, with um, certain subliminal messages that Esau puts in these cartoons and movies and things like that, that people watch, you know, you know, especially the Simpsons, you know, you know, our people, you know, well, most people, you know, the Simpsons, that's one of their favorite shows, you know, and, and they, they set... <laughs> And they said fast fit on, on every episode, you know, of The Simpsons. And The Simpsons be putting subliminal messages in these um, in their episodes, you know. So the, the, this is another device that Esau uses. So we're not ignorant of what Esau uses is um, for all his devices, you know. We're not ignorant of that because we see, we see the bigger picture. Unlike these people out here, and especially our people that are not um, circumspect. You know, so we see the bigger picture. We see what Esau's ambitions are. You know, so let me read that again real quick. Um, Second Corinthians chapter two, verse eleven: Least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. You see, so we're not ignorant of what he does and what he what what he's pushing out there. You know. Because we're constantly paying attention and watching, you know, because this thing is going to come suddenly when people least expect it, because it's going to catch a lot of people off guard, you know. But it's not going to catch us, you know, men of the Lord like us, you know, that's out here doing this work sincerely, diligently, and faithfully. It's not going to catch us off guard because we have the spiritual insight and the spirit and power of our Lord, Yahweh Shem Yashai. So it's not going to catch us off guard. Because this thing is going to come suddenly. So this is Isaiah chapter 30 verse um, 13. It says, therefore, this iniquity shall be to you. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly and at an instant. You know, so who's breaking? You know, Esau's kingdom. That, that's what's breaking. Because this thing is going to come suddenly at an instant, you know, where you least expect it, you know. So this is why Esau, he's setting up certain things, you know. He's setting up certain contagious things because he, he's, he, he's trying to set this whole thing up, you know. He's trying to put everything in place. <coughs> so this is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse um, 2. And it says... Actually, let me start at three. Yeah. First Thessalonians chapter five, verse three. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travailing upon a woman with child and they shall not escape.
So, you know, when people are saying that they're in peace, they're, they're safety, you know, nothing's happening. Just like 9-11, you know, it was peace and safety that day. Nothing was going going to happen. Everybody was going about their business. Then sudden destruction kind of came up. You know, then it was sudden. You know, that, that destruction came suddenly where people least expect it, you know. So whatever, what the next attack will be, you know, whatever it is, you know, through an EMP, whatever Esau got, got up his sleeve, whatever kind of, you know, hell that Esau is going to bring, you know, whatever he got up his sleeve, you know, is going to come upon these people suddenly. And then they're not going to leave, they're, they're not going to expect it because they're, they're not watching, they're not um, watching and praying, they're not, they're not seeing these things. You know, they're just going about their business, you know, doing whatever they do, you know, their daily chores or whatever, their daily routines, then, you know, they run their errands or whatever, but yet they're not watching or paying, to, paying attention to what's really going on beneath the surface, what's boiling up beneath the surface, you know, so when, when this destruction comes, it's going to be suddenly in a, at an instant and it's going to catch a lot of people off guard, you know. So, so let me just get one more and I'm going to wrap this thing up. So this is Proverbs chapter 6, verse 15, and it reads, Therefore shall his iniquity come, therefore shall his calamity come suddenly, suddenly shall he be broken without remedy, you know? So this thing is going to come suddenly, you know? The destruction of America is going to come suddenly upon Esau's kingdom. Well, before that, you know, he's going to come with his new world order, he's going to come with his, um... His techniques, you know, his his trap, you know, whatever devices that he has, you know, what 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 kind of next attacker will be, whatever the next attack is, you know, that's what he's coming for, coming with. And you know, eventually the missiles are gonna come and finish this place. But Esau, he's he's setting he, he's he's really setting the mood right now because he knows that his time is running out, pursuant to Revelations chapter twelve verse twelve, you know. So he knows that his time is short, that he doesn't have much time left, and this is and this is the kind of moves that he's about to make, you know. So, you know, with that I'm just gonna end it there. I'm gonna give all praises and glories due to Yah, Bashim Yah Shah, Bashim Kwakadash, Shalom.